Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Tonight, I'd like to explore a bit deeper into the idea of activating your sensory neural network as a way to enhance your inner awareness and also to access body, mind, spirit integration and move into a state of super consciousness. And then we're gonna go into the concept of Jing Shen, the spirit of vitality, and do some stuff with that to be able to, to practice getting that. The, uh, going back to the first point, the, I've talked often and long about uh, the idea of feeling. And I really want to emphasize that because it's something that is so deep and uh, it is so fundamental. This is something that's, that's mentioned in, in the Young Family Secret Transmissions. They talk about that idea of conscious feeling and conscious movement so that you're actually bringing your conscious awareness to things that oftentimes get put onto automatic. And one of the things that gets really gets put on automatic is your sensory input. That is the information that's coming in through your senses. And it is almost entirely at a pre-conscious level. That is, you're not aware of it unless you actually think about it. You know, say, oh yeah. And then even then we have a tendency to immediately go to the story. We have immediately go to the narrative that, that gets picked up there. So I feel something and, oh, I think, oh, that's cold or that's sharp or that's smooth. You know, if I see something, seeing is especially uh, difficult for this because the mind is very close to the the, uh, the the conscious mind is very close to the to the seeing and about 80 percent of the information is coming in through your senses goes through your eyes so you're you immediately translate what you're seeing into a story so getting that that ability to to tap into the perception prior to a thought about that perception uh, is is really key so that you're you're able to slow that down so you're accessing a different part of your 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 nervous system when you do that so the the automatic response of being of seeing something and and immediately going into a narrative about that is pretty heavily ingrained and requires uh, a certain amount of discipline to be able to get out of that. And that's why I like to start with the sense of touch because it's a very gross, dense energy regarding touch. And when I talk about touch, I'm talking about the, the sense of, uh, of feeling, feeling something not as an emotion, but as a, as a tactile sensation. And here it's both the, your external environment, the world around you, where you're touching things out there prior to the saying, oh, that is a, a blanket or that is fur or whatever that you're translating it into a story prior to that, but also your internal environment. So you're having this, this perception that is um, your, an inner perception. You can think of it as, a, uh, like the word is enteroception. I forget the Chinese word for it. Um, but uh, basically you're looking and, and, and sensing changes in your in your body mind this morning i was sitting out in the, in the garden and i was feeling my heartbeat and just like tuning into that and it just came on unannounced but i was just like okay so let's just let's just ride with this a while so just feeling that and then feeling my pulse feeling the circulation of blood through my through my blood vessels 
And that's not something that we do often. And uh, it requires a certain amount of, of focus, a certain amount of getting out of your own way mentally to be able to do that. But when you do, when you kind of go to that gap between thoughts and you say, oh, okay, you're just listening to your heartbeat, then there it allows you to attune to your internal environment. And you know, there are people who can who can feel the their cranial bones expanding and contracting. You know, it, there are different levels of sensation that one can attune to, both internal and external. So, you know, there's um, uh, in cranial sacral, I, I, someone said in the upledger course, you, you know, there's a, you have to close a book and put a, a hair in there, and then you have to be able to feel the hair through the book to be able to, uh, you know, to attune your, your sense of touch. So, you know, I've been doing polarity therapy for, and, and, and um, cranial sacral now for about, you know, 25 years. And, and so there's, when you sit there and you actually feel into the subtle changes that occur in someone's body, by holding their head, say, or their feet, you know, you if you're doing that for an hour at a time, or maybe many hours, then you you develop a certain sensitivity to these things because you you have to quiet your own stuff in order to be able to do that. Well, it's something that I think all of us can benefit from being able to attune to our internal state, and because it's always with you, and your external state as well. So your ability to, to do that allows you to access a different part of your nervous system. So you're working with your sensory neural network, which is for the most part, it's happening at a pre-conscious level. When you get to bring this consciousness to it, then your conscious mind and your sensory mind are both active at the same time. And so your whole brain goes into a heightened state of coherence. You're creating more activity, more neural activity, and you're also integrating these things. So not only are your left and right hemispheres coordinating, but also vertically, your, the, you know, the, if you think about it as a triune brain, where you have, you know, three levels of, of, uh, nervous system processing, you know, you the the denser pre-conscious part gets to gets to have a uh, a party with the uh, with the conscious part. And when that happens, your your whole brain starts to start the fire. And uh, at, at Taiji Alchemy, we just had, you know, several people were talking about how they could actually feel the activity in their brains. That's something that is so you can learn to to feel where which part of your brain is lighting up. And it's something I played with myself, where you know actually will you know with with machine that that can tell you which part, and you can actually learn to activate different parts of your brain consciously. So we're going to do a a a, um, a short meditation here, and the idea is to be able to to separate your sense of feeling consciously. Because there's a tendency for the conscious mind to just kind of throw it all together and say, oh yeah, yeah, I, I got that. And to turn it into a, an abstraction or an algorithm that you can do. But what we want to do is put the brakes on that and actually control your nervous system so that you can just feel one thing and not another. And to be able to, and when I say when you're feeling it, that's that's a conscious thing, a conscious recognition of that sensory information. So, um, you know, the distinction can be made touching and feeling. You know, I can I can touch my head, and that's an, an action. That's something that I'm doing. But to actually feel it, I have to shift 
from the motor function, which is the touching, to the sensory function, function the afferent neural network, and be able to actually tune into that. So this is a fast way of shifting into a heightened state of, of nervous system coherence and to shift into a superconscious state. So let's play with this a little bit. So um, just sit with your feet flat on the floor and you want to reach with the crown of your head. Sit up straight. Round your elbows a little bit and feel into that. So let's begin by just feeling the floor with your left foot. And take a breath and just allow your mind to settle into that. Just to feel Feel the floor with your left foot. You're consciously activating that part of your nervous system that gives you information about the about that. But you want to do it prior to thinking about it. You're not thinking about how heavy is my foot. You're not thinking about how what is the surface that I'm touching. None of that stuff. You just want to feel. Now feel your right foot, let go of your left and shift your awareness as much as you can to your right foot. In doing this, we're activating, we're alternating between the hemispheres of the brain. The left side of the brain controls information from the right side. So you're activating the left side of your brain now Now feel your left foot touching the floor. Now feel your right foot touching the floor. It's a very simple exercise, but it allows us to establish a baseline that, yeah, this is something that I can do, right? So if I were to, to immediately to say, I want you to feel your spleen, it might be a little tougher. Uh, so you want, you want to just do something that's give your nervous system a sense of accomplishment, like, oh boy, I did it, yay me. Okay, now feel the big toe in your left foot. If you can do it without moving the big toe, that's great. But if you if you need to move it to, to actually feel it contacting the floor, that's fine too. The key is here to activate that nervous system, activate that sensory neural network. Now feel the big toe in your right foot. Let go of your left foot, feel the big toe. Yeah. Now, place your hands on your legs, your knees. I'm going to call it your knees if you, you know, if you can comfortably. That's fine. If not just think about your your leg. But the you want to feel your left knee with your left hand. Here you have to divide your attention between the information that's coming from your leg and from your hand. Now feel your left hand with your knee. So you're, you're disconnecting from the hand to whatever degree you can so you can feel your knee. Feel with your knee.
Now feel your right knee with your right hand. Notice there might be a delay. That's okay. Because your nervous system is having to establish new neural pathways to make this happen. It's not something we do every day. So now feel your hand with your right knee. Now look at your mind and notice that you're in the gap between thoughts. That there's a lot of space there, yet you're fully aware. You're just not thinking. And in this state, you're better able to know without thinking. You're shifting from the pocket calculator of your nervous system to a supercomputer. Now feel your, your left elbow. And this is challenging for a lot of people, but you want you to do it. So if you Bring your awareness to your left elbow and allow it to, to linger there. Now let go of that and bring your awareness to your right elbow. Now bring it back to your left elbow. And back to your right elbow. Now feel your the top of your head, feel your scalp, your hair, whatever you got there. And bring your awareness to that. Now simultaneously feel your feet touching the floor and feel the top of your head. Now add in your elbows, feel those without letting go of the, your head, your feet, your elbows. Because in a super conscious state, you can do this. Feel your hands. Feel your knees. Yeah, now bring it back and allow your awareness to relax and just be present in the moment and 